how to connect API with WordPress. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about an API and how we're going to allow ourselves to connect it with our WordPress in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So basically connecting your API to your WordPress is pretty simple. Okay, we're just going to be using a few different methods. Okay, and obviously connecting an API comes into coding, okay, because API obviously is a code for any different design that you can add into some other design. So let's say, you know, for example, I want to add a chat GPT, you could say API into my website. So chat GPT obviously has given their API, so they have an API key. I'm going to choose any of their API keys and just, you know, add their API into my setting and that should be good to go. But yeah, so to add an API into our WordPress website, what you're going to do is first of all, you're going to come over to plugins. Okay. Once you come over to plugins over here, you're going to write WP get API. Okay. You're going to write that and you're going to click on enter near it says connect external APIs WP get API. So we're going to open this up. And obviously you can start seeing the details about this API down here. So connect WordPress to external APIs. Send your data to APIs and display API data using shortcode to template tag. Connecting to APIs has never been easier. Then you can see all these things. Easily send data to any API. Get data from unlimited third-party REST APIs. Format and display the return data on your WordPress website using a shortcode or a template tag. WP API gets uh, or supports visually all authentication methods, okay, including API keys bearer tokens, basic authentication, username, password, and OAuth 2.0, which is pretty good. And then they also give you live examples uh, for videos that you can connect to WordPress using external API. And you can also see the major features. So you can connect your WordPress website to any of the APIs. Unlimited APIs are allowed. No coding by you is required. Like, obviously, you're just going to provide the API code. Obviously, that is a must. But apart from that, no coding. Then the display API data, you know, using a template tag or short code is given. You can add query strings, headers, and body parameters. That's the only like line of code you want to do. So pretty easy, pretty simple. Now, all you're going to do is you're obviously going to make sure you have a business account. Now, if you don't have a business account, you are going to need to upgrade to that because without a business account, you will not be able to add any API you know, or get a plugin. Now, once you have a business account, you're just going to add it or, you know, add an API into your WordPress. Once you've added an API, basically what's going to happen from there is you're going to get it down in your plugins and tools. Once you get it down in your plugins and tools, it's obviously going to ask you to set up. So it asks you to add the details of the APIs that you're using and the endpoints that it will give will be set up in the next step, you know, after you hit save. So what happens from there is it asks you three things. You know, it asks you the API name, unique ID, and base URL. So API name is the name of the API that you are connecting to. Then there's unique ID, which is a unique ID for your API. So lowercase letters and underscores only are used. And then finally, there's base URL. So the base URL of the API uh, is like obviously the base URL of the API that you are connecting to. So yeah. Basically, to get these things for, you know, any program, you're going to go ahead with their thing. So to get this from an API, let's say I'm going to come here to chat GPT. OK, go ahead and chat GPT. I'm going to write API in front of it. OK, because chat GPT really a popular thing. And let's say I want a chat bot in my website. So I'm going to go ahead to chat GPT's API and I want to, you know, copy it off. So here we can see introducing ChatGPT and Whisper APIs. Developer can now integrate ChatGPT and Whisper models into their apps. So to get their APIs, we're going to come down here and you can start seeing their APIs. So it's pretty incredible, pretty easy. And uh, you can see all these different things that they've given you. So this is the ChatGPT API. Now, you know, ChatGPT model family gives you a token and here's the API. So it gives you the model as a sequence of tokens, which is pretty incredible. So this is your API code. OK, so all you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and copy it off. OK, 
And once someone copies that off, this is the response they get with the Python binding. So you're just going to copy it off. Once you copy it off, yeah, basically, you're just going to come here. And when they ask you for the API name, you're going to add the API name. Your unique ID is going to be the key that is going to be provided to you through uh, OpenAI. So if you go into this over here, this API, you can go into overview. Okay. You can choose their API platform and to choose their API platform, obviously sign in with your accounts and everything. And uh, yeah, you can see on chat GPT, you can just use any of their APIs from the input over here, or you can even like, this is just a common example of chat GPT. You could use any software. Let's say you want to connect it to Google maps or something like that. So, you know, add the API name, which is obviously chat GPT. Then there's the unique ID that, which is the unique key that they're going to give you and the base URL which is the URL website for the API. So I'm going to come here and this is the URL website. So I'm just going to copy this link and go ahead and paste it in the base URL. Once you've done all of that, you can start getting random quotes as well for the APIs. So after adding the base URL, it takes you to the actual, uh, you know, once you've saved everything, it creates one endpoint and that basically creates different template tags. Now, template tags are basically you know lines of code like wp get api which is wordpress get api which is a code that uh, wordpress generates then moving on they have different methods and endpoints so in the endpoint in unique id uh, there's obviously a few things that you're going to need to add so you know javascript and all that so all these necessary things need to be added and you can you know create a results format for those and all of them obviously are going to be done using your basic uh, WP get API and WP get API obviously walks you through everything. And there's a unique ID for the endpoint. Uh, the endpoint will be appended to the actual base URL. So you're going to click on, you know, get slash chat GPT slash, uh, you know, whatever your API name is. So chat GPT in this case, then obviously there's the method. So request method for this endpoint, obviously you're going to use the get method which is basically going to just going to get the uh, API and the get method is all in capital, which is a code in uh, JavaScript. So it gets things and the results format, the result format is obviously going to be um, the one that they were telling you. So in ChatGPT's case, it was Python. So you're going to go with Python build. Once you do that, it gives you cache time, which is the time in seconds that the cache requests everything. And once you say of all of that, it's going to basically give you the whole code and everything and it's even going to give you the url and it's going to give you the response that it gives you now if the response is identical to the one that we saw in chat gbt you know that we saw in products over here then you did the right thing and you know you're good to go with whatever api you've made but if the response is incorrect you've done something incorrect and just make sure to go ahead and do it all again and everything should work fine but yeah that was basically about it for when it comes to discussing how you're going to connect an API with WordPress. That's pretty much about it for this video. So thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.